for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll see what's coming up for the present. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Gemini, the recent past energy. Well, we have the Ace of Pentacles and it's with Justice. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, you could have found yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels, and this would have been very positive new beginnings. You probably started to feel really optimistic, upbeat, and hopeful about your future. Things would have been going really well. You could have been starting something new. This could have been personally or it could have been in the area of work. But either way, it would have been a really, really good thing. Yeah, if you were in a relationship, it would have risen to new and better heights. You two would have reconnected, or maybe you reconnected with someone, and it felt like a great new beginning. Now, it's with just, justice. Justice it actually deals with the idea of karma, the law of cause and effect. It's important, though, to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma, because sometimes you are called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. If you are or were directly involved in a court case, it was likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So basically, Gemini, Ace of Pentacles clarified by this justice for the recent past energy between you and your person or situation. Well, I'm, I'm getting that for a lot of you, you've got some inner clarity. you got some, some light was shed on something. So maybe some truth came out, and you felt like justice was served. And it was good, because it, it brought cl clarity. You were no longer walking around in the dark. Yeah, or you could have felt like someone got what they deserved. Or maybe you thought you had the right to do so. Something like that. Something that made you feel like justice was served, and you're no longer in darkness. And what came with this is some new beginning. You could have wanted a new beginning with someone, or just a new day. You started to feel like a new day was dawning. You know, or some type of new beginning. Maybe you realize you could start some new beginnings. So it felt really great. Maybe you had a new beginning with a, with someone new, a new love interest, or you wanted a new beginning with a new love interest after you got all this clarity and justice. But that's a recent past energy. Now, let's see what's coming up. Well, we got the Queen of Wands, and it's with the Death card. Now, the Queen of Wands, it can refer to a woman. She'll have a lot of fire energy. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, when this is not referring to an actual person, it does stand for getting a lot accomplished. Could be focused on work, career. The queen is really positive. It's an uplifting energy. Now, when this does stand for an actual person or woman in your life, she's a good friend. Solidly on your side. Even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to conceive, well, this card is one of the most positive signs that there can be. Now, it's with the death card. Now, keep in mind, this death card, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. It is considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. And I say this because we're all creatures with free will. 
and such things are not written in stone. The death card. It simply indicates transformation and change. So this is definitely a time of deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations, things, and people that you've counted on. Or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way. Now, keep in mind, this transition, it can be difficult for some people, even though the change is nearly always needed. So, what we got coming up, Queen of Wands, clarified by the death card. So, it's basically saying that, yeah, I don't know if this recent past energy it's a new be it's a new beginning here so this queen of wands could be a new love interest it could be a new situation it could be the person that you're dealing with could be a, could be a number of things or a person new old or someone that you're already with anyway this person is very determined, very determined about this connection, or very determined about you. Yeah, Queen of Wands is determined, egotistical, used to getting what they want. And Queen of Wands knows her worth, very confident type. Now, the thing is that it's with the death card. So, the death card is about change. Yeah, somebody's determined about you, Gemini. Very determined. But you may not be who they think you are. Or they may not be who you think they are. There's change here. Yeah, it's not that someone's wearing a mask. Could be though, but it's just that something's different here. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you've known this person for a while and you're just different than who you were when you two first met. Or maybe this Queen of Wands is someone new, and they think they know you, but they don't. Or you think you know this person, but you don't. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and if it's a situation, keep in mind you don't know enough. Yeah, you don't know enough, so. That is going to be what's coming up. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got this chariot and it's with the tower. Now, the chariot, it, it indicates a lot of energy because the chariot goes really fast. Wow, if you, I don't know if you can see the details of this picture. But it's, it looks like it's taken off like 100 miles an hour. It goes really fast. The good thing about it, though, it's directed, it's controlled. And it actually has a goal in mind, so when this card appears, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes, what your dreams involve, and what you're willing to do to make them come true. It's about determination, ambition, and getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. It's a sign that you should move forward with whatever's in your mind and in your heart. Give it your best shot. But remember, though, you're going to have to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. Now, it's with the Tower card, which can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You have to roll with the changes, though, because it's likely some people, situations that you have counted on as being there for you. They may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic because change, it is the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to row upstream 
without a paddle. Also, if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. Now, that's only a problem if you let it be. And I say this because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies do fall apart. Just know that dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. So basically, a chariot for your challenge clarified by the tower. So Gemini, it looks like somebody, your person that you're, that you're involved with, or this new person, this queen of wands, or a situation. Somebody's going to be rushing you, putting a rush on you. Now, now, now. Let's do it right away. Fast. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Quick, quick, quick. Nope, we can't wait until tomorrow. Let's go now. Let's do it now. Somebody's going to put a rush on you. And it's showing here it's going to, mm, it's going to cause a big tower moment. Yeah, it's showing that if you rush into whatever this is, maybe it's this person who's so determined about you. But, they, but remember, this person doesn't know enough. They don't know enough about you, and you don't know enough about them. And if it's the person that you're already involved with, it's saying, it's saying that if you rush into a situation, it's going to come crashing down. Yeah, so take this as a warning. I wouldn't rush into anything in October. Because, yeah, it could fall apart. You know, if you're okay with things falling apart, then by all means, it's saying jump right, it's, it's not saying jump right and in there, but if you're okay with things falling apart, then by all means, I guess you would just jump right on in there, but it's showing that it's going to fall apart. It's going to be a disaster. Yeah. Like I said, could be this, could be a new person that's in your life, could be the person you're dealing with. Maybe they want you to rush into something. It's saying, uh-uh, don't do it. Just say no or either just take your time. Yeah, not enough is known. Yeah, you're different, they're different. Or just, just not enough is known with this death card here. So, let's move on over and let's see what the, the outcome is. Well, we got this Three of Pentacles and with the King of Wands. That Three of Pentacles is very positive. Especially when it comes to work and career questions. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. But it's a good overall card. It means that things are going well. This card, it, it, it also tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts. They notice the quality of work you do, even if you don't get a paycheck. It tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, though. But just know it. At this time, you will not have to scrap something and then start again. You will not. Yeah, if you already know someone that you're interested in and you get the Three of Pentacles, this card, it, it tells you that they see you in a positive light as someone who has all the qualities they're looking for, even though love is not quite developed yet. So it's saying there's a need for patience. Now, it's with the King of Wands, which can indicate a man with hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it could go either way. This person will want to serve as a mentor for you, a mentor. Yeah, very positive card in the deck. Even when this does not represent an actual person in your life, it does signal that you could have a lot of men around you who are really supportive of you and think really well of you. 
So you could be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you'll have the will to stick to whatever you have in your mind. So basically, the outcome through the pinnacles clarified by the King of Wands. Yeah, so like I said, this reading is, is turning out to be not really, well, it can, it's, it's kind of a love reading, but it's, I'm picking up that it's more so for people, for Geminis that are, Maybe you just met someone new and they want to rush into things. Or maybe you want to rush into things. And it's saying it's, it's going to fall apart if you rush. It's going to come crumbling down to the ground if you rush. Because you don't know enough. They don't know enough. And because the outcome is Three of Pentacles clarified by the King of Wands. Well, the Three of Pentacles... To see how the, I don't know if you can see the picture, but there's a man standing up, and then he has the, these two people um, kneeling down. They're on the gr grass or on the ground, and they're looking up to him in amazement, like, wow, you did that? Oh my God, they're really impressed with what he's showing. He's showing them the work that he does. So it's saying that you need to take time. And find out more. Yeah. You got somebody rushing you. It's saying you need to take time to find out more. Before you jump into anything with someone or a situation. Have this person show you what they can offer you. That's what this man is doing. He's showing these kids what he can do. Yeah. Find out what they do. What do this person does for a living? Would there is there a possibility of teamwork with this person collaboration yeah is there is does this person offer quality yeah and so anyway because this is with the king of wands um yeah you might if it's a if it's a relationship or a new person you might want to find out you know where their head is because like i said the king of wands is actually someone who has caring and protective feelings about you. But if you rush into something, you would know that. So it's saying that you need to take time and find out where this person's head is. If this is a new person. If you're already involved with someone, this could be a situation. Take your time. Don't jump into anything. If your person is saying, well, let's do it now. We don't have time to wait. It's saying to wait, or just say no, because it's going to fall apart. Yeah, so, Gemini, take this reading as a warning. Just don't rush into anything in October. If somebody puts a rush on you or say it has to be done now, oh, just say no. Just say no. Yeah, it's going to come crashing down. Not enough is known about the situation. Or this, this person or whatever it is. They could think they know everything it is that they need to know about you. Or you could be feeling that way about them. But yeah. Don't rush. Just say no. Just say no. It's real simple. So Gemini. That's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I'll also put a link below for the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal reading if you'd like to try one of those. So, Gemini, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. And we'll all get through this. So, just stay strong. Take good care. 
please come back and check out the next Gemini reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. So I can never say it enough. I thank you all so very much for watching. Yeah, thanks for um all my new subscribers. And thanks for my old subscribers. It really helps to grow my channel. So I appreciate that. So, I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope that you have a great day. And take care. Take care. Take care.